I'm Jason Cobb. I'm a nephrologist and assistant professor of medicine at Emory University School of Medicine. I'm Pooja Amrapurkar. I'm an assistant professor of medicine and a nephrologist at Emory School of Medicine. And today we're here to talk to you about World Kidney Day and spread the awareness of early recognition of kidney disease. Chronic kidney disease is a progressive loss of kidney function over a period of months to years. And if not corrected, it could lead to end-stage renal disease or kidney failure where patients will need dialysis. Unfortunately, the burden of kidney disease is very significant and about 13% of the adult population in the United States suffer from kidney disease. Um, it just it doesn't just stop there and it's actually affecting about 850 million people all over the world. So some risk factors for chronic kidney disease is definitely a global issue. In the United States, diabetes is probably the number one risk factor for chronic kidney disease followed by hypertension and also we have polycystic kidney disease. After that, we have a number of special populations, so patients with glomerulonephritis, HIV, lupus, some of those patients have higher risk of chronic kidney disease and may need special attention. So kidney, chronic kidney disease, like Jason said earlier, is a, is a slow progression of loss of kidney function. Sometimes it can start off as an acute event, or sometimes it just is there and progresses slowly without anyone's knowledge. So how do we really screen for kidney disease? Because in early stages, you may not even feel things, you may not have different symptoms. Uh, so one of the best things to do for early recognition or screening is if you have the above mentioned, aforementioned uh, risk factors like diabetes, high blood pressure, especially if they're not well controlled, one can go to their primary care physician and ask them to help them screen for kidney disease. Uh, sometimes even a simple test like a blood or a urine test can help you determine if you're at risk or if you've already developed kidney disease. How do we prevent chronic kidney disease? So you have diabetes, controlling your diabetes, controlling your blood sugar um, closely. If you have hypertension, taking blood pressure medications if needed, diet and exercise, and keeping your blood pressure under certain targets. If you have any special issues such as polycystic kidney disease, following up with a nephrologist closely. Patients with HIV may need certain medications or certain treatments. Patients with lupus, uh, may be at risk for chronic kidney disease or lupus nephritis and may need special tests such as kidney biopsies and special medications to control their lupus. Well, I hope you gain some awareness of kidney disease. Uh, spread the word to yourself, your friends, and your family, and let's have a great World Kidney Day.